everyone welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this video we are going to see how we can assign a queue as a record owner whenever a record is created with certain condition and and the scenario is really simple whenever a task is created with high priority right uh, whenever the task having a high priority means there is a field called priority on task object so whenever that particular field have value high what we are going to do we are simply going to assign that particular record to a queue so before moving ahead uh, firstly i need to create a queue in my salesforce org so for that what i need to do i will move into quick find and type queue let me click on queue and now here i need to click on new button and here i am going to type high priority tickets team or let's say high priority team now if you want to provide a queue email you can and also if you select send email to members whenever uh, there is a record assigned to a particular queue all the members will be notified if you select this particular option then you need to simply select the object on which object you want to uh, basically add this particular queue right so i am going to select task object here so now after that i will assign myself and let's say shivang tomar into the selected member and i am going to save this particular queue so now i have a queue which is called high priority members or let's say high priority team this is the queue that i just created now what i am going to do i am going to build a very small flow so if you are a beginner and want to learn salesforce flows then i created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn salesforce flow from scratch this course contain more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content so if you are interested to learn flows make sure you check out the course link is given below into the description of this video so let me click on flow button now i am going to create a new uh, record triggered flow click create now the thing is whenever a record is created with high priority task so if you try to understand this particular scenario whenever a task is created with high priority that means we need to update the same record field and i told you many time whenever you need to update the value or a field of a particular object which triggers the flow we need to use before save flow in the in that case right so first of all i am going to select task object here and then i am going to select a record is created then in the condition i am going to select priority equals high right and then i am going to select fast field updates and then i am going to click on plus button and i think that's it from the uh, configuration of the start element right now what i am going to do i am going to use a assignment element let's say assign that queue assign high priority now as you know we have a record global variable so i am going to select that variable and type here owner equals now in the value i need to type the q id so let me go back to the q and copy the q id for now i am just going to hard code it then i will let you know how you need to remove that hard code thing right so let me click on this high priority team and let me check if i can get the id or let me make it a query so seems like this is the one but still to uh, cross check i will check this out into the salesforce inspector uh, let me click on data export 
select ID from group. So if you don't know the API name of the queue is called group where developer name equals to let me click on run export so this is the ID so I will simply copy this ID for now and move to the flow builder and paste it into the value and hit done let me save my flow high priority task to Q. Now I'm going to save this flow and I know this will work so I'm going to activate this flow. So let me go back and let's say I'm going to create a new task with high priority. So let's say new task let's say test priority high and that's it I'm going to save it so right now you can see we did not assign any owner or uh, anything else but you can see it is assigned to high priority team that means our flow is working fine but there is one very critical issue in our salesforce flow we hard coded the ids and the reason why i hard code the id so that you will get to know we don't need to do that and it never do that actually never hard code ids in your salesforce flow why because let's say you are going to migrate this particular uh, salesforce flow into the production the org that where you are building your flow have a, a queue created over there right then in the production that might be possible that particular queue have a different ID so your flow will fail never hard code in your salesforce flow right so now you will have a question like okay Shubham if we don't hard code it how we need to fetch the queue ID or how we need to do that so here we have couple of uh, things that we can use in order to prevent hard coding IDs right you can see I get this particular um, queue ID from the uh, what I can say developer con uh, de you can fetch it from developer console or if you are using salesforce inspector you can use it like that i also told you how you can use salesforce inspector into the previous video so make sure you check out that video as well i will put out into the card and into the description box of this video right now if i move back so here are few options that you can use for example let's say if i create a label custom label right and in custom label what I will do let's say I create a new custom label high priority right and in the value I will paste the queue ID now I will save this particular uh, custom label and now into the flow instead of this particular ID what I will do first of all I need to refresh the flow now let me open this particular assignment and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste the label dot high priority team queue. So see how I basically fetch it from the custom label. So one method is this. Let me also save this. And hit save. Activate it. This will also work. Right. And let's say if I create a new task. test custom label priority high and right now you can see this is assigned to Shubham Bardwaj but if I click on save this, this is assigned to high priority team right so here you can see now you will say like, uh, like okay Shubham when we are going to uh, basically deploy this particular flow into production we also need to fetch the custom label right so absolutely you also need to fetch or let's say create a custom label in your production so make sure whenever you are going to deploy this particular flow also create a custom label in your production now there is one more way which you can use in order to prevent the hard coded hard coded ids is use a get record element so for that what you need to do you need to use a get record element and let's say 
high priority क्यों राइट इन द ऑब्जेक्ट यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट ग्रुप नाउ वेन यू टाइप ग्रुप ओवर देयर राइट यू विल सी दू टाइप ऑफ ग्रुप कोलेबोरेशन ग्रुप एंड ग्रुप एज ग्रुप सो यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट ग्रुप एज ग्रुप बिकॉज कोलेबोरेशन ग्रुप इज फॉर द चैटर सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप ओवर देयर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो नो हाउ आई यूज ग्रुप इन द सोकल दैट आई यूज इन टू द सेल्स फोर्स इंस्पेक्टर राइट सो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट ग्रुप नाउ इन दिस आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड developer name equals and what is the developer name of that particular queue so i will move back to the quick find and simply type queue and let me copy this particular developer name so make sure label is different and uh, developer name is little different developer name contains underscore and it is going to be unique throughout the org so let me just paste the value of the developer name and i will also add one value called type equals q right and only the first record automatically store all fields now in the assignment element i will remove this particular label and type <clears throat> high priority so this is the get record element we have and i will use id so let me click on done and hit on save as let me click on save again and activate this flow again now what i am going to do i am going to use or i am going to create another task let's a new task test with get record element let me set priority high and hit save so again you will see it is assigned to high priority team so i hope you learned few new things from this particular tutorial and if you learned few things make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos and again if you want to learn salesforce flow from scratch we have a dedicated salesforce flow course make sure you check out the link given below into the description box thank you